Hey there, it's Mark. As you can see, Zane significantly beat my best time on Scramble Jungle. I actually found out about it because I am subscribed to his channel and that's how I found out about the shortcut that he took. You can watch his video to see the Cobra shortcut. I'm not going to show it here. But let's see what else he did. Oh my, he bypassed both of the gorillas. That was kind of a major stunt of the track. Well, it's my fault because if you look from this angle, you can easily see the yellow hill that he used to jump to here. I gave him all this landing area and the checkpoint is way down there on the red track in front of the gorilla. I need to change that. Something else that I want to address that the blue track above the cobra head kind of has a little ripple in it. You can see it when I get closer too. Plus, for some reason, the track doesn't go straight. Watch when I boost straight along this strip. It doesn't land on the track below. It, it's not lined up. I don't know why that happens. It's because when I brought the track through the above the cobra head through the loop, there's a real tight spot for you to do that. And I cannot bring it closer to make it straight. I am deleting this old version and you'll see this improved. Check out the improvements I made to the major shortcut. As you can see, I made the upper level, the red level, made that longer. So the dog leg is much closer, making it much harder to get up there. Plus, I added a bunch of barriers. So if you try to get up there and you fall short, you're going to crash into the barriers. And then you have to race because I put the checkpoint way in the back. For this new video, how about I race with this? Check out this livery done by Lord Narciss. You might recognize that from Highway 35 World Race. Excellent brake lights and turn markers. Even the logo for Highway 35 World Race. I had to add this livery to my collection right away. I already validated the track and published it. Let's give it a race. He put this livery on Riveted. If you want that livery too, here's the information. It's in the description below as well. Like I said, this new version is live. I published it. That old version has been deleted. Coming up, I use magnetic strip to help you stay in the middle. I'm going to do a proper run first. I'm not going to try the shortcut. Oh man, I wasn't in the right spot. My own track, I should have known, I was going too fast. Not a very good run, but I'll be doing another one. Plus I'll be showing shortcuts. One thirty, I know I can do better. Let me show you one shortcut right now. In case you didn't see the other video, you don't have to go up the ramps. You can sneak right in between. The only thing is I have booster strips up on top. So it's not necessarily faster to go down the middle. To be honest, you can just go around the whole thing. You don't even have to go down the middle. You can just go around it, come around, pass your gorillas, and then use this on-ramp. Get right back on track. Let me see if I can do that huge shortcut that Zane discovered. So you can still do the shortcut, but I put that shortcut way in the back, so you have to fly further. You probably could land better than I did too. 
Remember, all this part right here is new. It's different than the original version. Hey, nice driving. Ugh. Now let me see if I can beat my time of 130. I designed this on PlayStation and you could play it with compatible consoles. 120, my new record. Information on that is in the description below as well. Thanks for watching. Happy racing. See you on the track. Happy building too. Bye bye.